Okay, this is Jim at Motor Mania Garage. This is a engine, a 3 liter V6 dual overhead cam, 24 valve, rebuilt engine for an 04 Mazda 6. Uh, I want to document an issue I have. Um, I can't seem to get any oil to come up. I filled, put 6 quarts of oil in it, filled the oil filter. I've turned it about... Oh, I don't know, five ten minutes with a brake or bar, and I can't seem to get any oil up to the camshaft. There's a little oil in there. This is where I poured the oil in, though. So um, up here, I don't see any other oil coming out of the lifters. Probably not too clear. This is the other side. Now. I'm going to turn this with a breakover bar right there. There's also a noise in the cam cam train, cam chain, the valve train. I don't know if that's picking it up. If you can hear that. Let me go a couple more times here. Okay, and that should have demonstrated the noise. Now I'm not going to say that that's necessarily, it might be because it's a little dry. But anyway, the oil pump is underneath this front cover. I can't take that cover off because it's a rebuilt motor. So I'm going to have to mount the transaxle because the starter mounts to the transaxle and the flywheel and everything and crank it with the starter. And then see if I can get oil pressure up there. So this is just a video documenting uh, what the issue I have is right now. I also had the oil sender out. Put some oil in there too. And cranked it. And I still can't seem to get any oil to come up. So, okay, that's part one. Let me stop here. Okay, this is Jim Motor Mania Garage. This is the second video on this 04 Mazda 6 rebuilt engine 3 liter v6 dual overhead cam 24 valve <clears throat> I said in an earlier video I had six quarts of oil on it that's incorrect I have five quarts of oil on it I'm trying to ensure that I'm getting oil the oil is primed in the motor before um, I put it in the car so turning it by hand didn't work so I had to put the transaxle on which I wasn't ready to do so I could crank it with the starter because the starter mounts to the transaxle. So that's what I have here. I'm going to crank it a little bit for documentation with the starter. Uh, and I've already done that for probably 60 seconds. And I haven't got any oil up there yet. So I'm going to run it a little bit more. <coughs> with the starter and a battery. train area. The oil sender is actually still in the hole right now. I filled the oil filter with clean oil. Oops, chain down in there. in my hand but I'm not seeing it doesn't appear to me that that's pumping any oil I think this is the side that no the other side is the one I poured the poured the oil through in it was this side
just not seeing it. I'm not seeing the oil. I also noticed some deflection in the chain, in the cam chain on the on the back side right here. And I think on this side right here too, I saw some deflection in that chain as it would come around. But uh, okay, so that's how I'm cranking it and trying to get the oil up there. So, okay, that'd be the end of video two. Okay, Jim and Motor Mania Garage again. I made two videos of trying to ensure that this uh, motor's primed. This is the third video. I have removed the oil center that goes here and the oil filter that I had filled with oil. Of course, some ran out. There's a clean pan there. Now I'm going to crank it again. Let me zoom in here. Okay, that's as far as it'll zoom in. I'm going to crank the engine again. I'm not getting nothing, no oil out of there. So, again, just documentation. Then I'll have to contact the supplier. There's five quarts of oil in the crankcase. Here we go. pump is in the front cover on this engine and it came with the oil pan installed and of course it had the warning stickers about priming the oil pump the usual stuff from that's common but in this case I can't prime the oil pump without pulling off the front cover which I'm sure would void the warranty so that's that's the reason I'm making the videos I got this from Napa I'm gonna go down there and have him come up and probably get permission to pull the front cover off and prime the oil pump or check it out and in the first video I, I I recorded that there's some noise in that in the valve train from the chains I'm not sure if that's I wouldn't call it normal but it's not necessarily upsetting but it's something to be that I'm concerned about a little bit so anyway nothing came out of the oil filter uh, hole or the oil cinder hole or the old center hole where I unscrewed it. So that's the end of video three.